Mm, it's a that wide bump starting is point. hard. You talking about the but up? With that, they like had the long pause and they re-enter. Yeah. The snares do like I, massive long pause. I always thought that was gonna get taken out. I thought I thought I would do it, but it never did. So <laughs> survive. Kind of, I mean, there, there's a there's a few things in there, just like kind of the you heard like the the Herta kind of stuff or like uh -huh. the the right right left left kind of a lot of people called them fives or kind of they felt like five five stroke roll kind of pick up things but they they were they were they existed here and also throughout the show they kind of kind of, kind of became like a little bit of a a theme i guess yeah mm -hmm. uh we've heard those it's not a new thing we've heard those no, a lot yeah, yeah, yeah. nine left partials that kind of stuff but mm -hmm. they were just what we used like these little like embellishments i think to it's like to, they're to bursts color. But the, your your brain wants to think that it's a five stroke, but it's a little more open. It's only four notes. Right. Like it just like makes it's you stop like for a the second. third partial of a triplet. Yeah, like, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like that, like that kind of idea. Yep. Uh, so that was there, and then also like just attacking things like right left, bub up, bub up. That that became like a, a theme I think throughout the this this uh, beginning part of the show, like the, this this Boston tune called foreplay. Mm -hmm. uh, Right, so this, that where, where we just re-entered there on that bub up, mm -hmm. it was very exposed. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's a lot. Of, that was a long pause was, and just again, that's it, gutsy as hell. That is it was gutsy. more of a thematic uh, expression as well. Like it was mm -hmm. like they they kind of owned it and played it. It was never not pretty consistent. So like yeah. it, it it stayed. There so you go. Credit to them. Yep. All right, let's hear it again, and then we'll let it keep going a little bit and stop if we need to again. Echo. Mm -hmm. That's where things start to split the twos or fragment a little bit in a counterpoint a conversation. Check out the gut. Pocket. Mm, yeah. Right, left, right, left. So a thought all I that, just all had that there, kind of back and forth between the high between the flat line. Yeah, so for sure. This surprised me all season, but just refreshing myself on all this watching it here, like it's just there's so much going on, but it's written <laughs> in a way that it's not overwhelming. Like everything has its place from an arrangement standpoint. Like just yeah, my brain is sitting here like this should not be as easy to listen to as it is. Like it just flows and like there's. A million things happening, but somehow it's just cohesive and just makes sense to where it doesn't feel overwhelming as a listener, which is really cool. Yeah, it was a weird thing to write, kind of, because it was it's a percussion opportunity, but it's not a drum solo in a way. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. it was originally. Uh, what motivated this whole thing was if you, you ever seen the videos of uh, it's the Japanese like kind of walking teams, like the guys in the suits that kind of walk. And yes. Yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So Even that's where this. Up. We never quite did that in the show, but that's what inspired this part of the show. Mm. Like, as far as if you go back and watch the drill, like on either side of the, the core or either side of the field, there's kind of blocks of people that kind of, kind of, it's not really squad movement, but it kind of, that's how they get there. Like, okay. So, in my mind, that's, that's what I was writing to. So this mm. whole thing kind of started based on that, uh, from the Boston to the bo 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 like that, that minor bass line, right? That, that okay. motivates that tune. So, that's left in here. That's what kind of motivates the beginning of this. Yeah, and then, that's uh, cool. So it's, so it's very kind of singular at the very beginning. They're going to boom, 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 very downbeat oriented. Then we split into twos, like where I saw, where you see those those, those lines of people just do this and kind of mm -hmm. change. And like, it, So at least in my mind, that's compositionally where this was going as far as we split hair to hair to hair to hair to, right? The kind of conversation back and forth with the battery. It splits in the front ensemble, uh, uh, in, in the in the keyboards as well. Uh, mm. So kind of a like a, a process of kind of fragmentation, and then like some way to kind of bring that back together with uh, a little bit more like uh, 
a little more suspension in the harmony, a little more complex, a little more uh, counterpoint in the battery as far as what you noticed before, that bagat bagat kind of stuff mm -hmm. with the fivelets. So we started at the beginning of the show very kind of on the grid, very vertical. This starts to split apart into kind of twos, a little bit more of a fragmented kind of feel, but still feels comfortable, I guess. So yeah. that's, the, that's the way inside baseball version of like how this... <laughs> all of all but if you want to listen to it i guess for the beginning of that moment yeah, i'll back up maybe with some perspective but listen for the baseline listen how it splits apart and then how that kind of progresses into a little bit more of a uh kind of suspended or uh, uh, a little bit denser harmonic environment mm -hmm. yeah we love any inside baseball you can throw in and that's sure. why we're here <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of forgot about that until right now. So <laughs> yeah. I was like, why, why did I do that? It was like, oh, oh there yeah, you go. that's right. <laughs> yeah, we'll watch the whole thing again. Oh, here's we'll the baseline. Keep going. Left hand. Tippity. Bow, 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 bow. The quad takes it a little bit there. It's all this right hand stuff. Together, splits. So this conversation of Hertha's. All the way up into the front. And it's the more of a coming together here. Mm, good rolls. I love how it drops so down whole, a little like, bit before it. That organ sound, that suspension. Suspension, resolution of the horn sounds. Can you stop a second, Mike? Yeah, sure. Sorry. No, you're good. That, all that stuff at the very end, too, like the suspension, suspension, the resolution, like quarterly, like what the, the battery kind of accessorized to. If you go back to like Boston, the foreplay, too, there's a uh, kind of a, a big cadenza in the middle of it, too. So that's all kind of taken from that whole environment of, of that. So that was kind of the first like two minutes of the show or so. That's kind of like that whole arc kind of completed mm -hmm. with with that before we move into the Steve Reich stuff is coming up now. So cool. Nice. I love that. Yep. Melting away. Metric of Cello Rondo. Yeah. All the space and the accuracy of those drum set hits. Hmm. I love how the quarter note just lays over top of that yeah. hole. Yeah, I love that transition. It's great. I can talk about that a little bit. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, quad visual. It just reminded me too, like the uh, the beginning of that, just with those like long kind of chords with the space around it too. Like each one of the, that's the beginning of the third section of the show essentially. So the beginning was those the horns on the prop, like bump, bump, B flat chords. Part two was these like dampened kind of chime notes, or I'm sorry, of vibraphone notes. And then so we have then we have these kind of electronic kind of like the seven chords. Mm -hmm. Each one of these evolutions that, that began these kind of studies in entropy started with like kind of a chime or like a home base or someplace to kind of devolve from, I guess, if for lack of a better way of explaining it. But mm -hmm. that was the beginning of that. So that again, those three kind of pieces of source material really helped us kind of at least create a, a starting point with that. Uh, the the original kind of threshold piece, like there's a, I'd encourage anybody who's a fan of Sungazer or like this moment or if you like that kind of stuff, uh, there's a great video about explaining kind of the theory behind kind of threshold. It's basically threshold is like the, it was written around playing as slow and as fast you can 
at the same time. <laughs> it's like it's like third. I forget the exact number now. Uh, crap. But it was like the slowest like uh, division of like perceptible tempo was like oh the original recording of Threshold is like buzz <laughs> black where you could like hear that relationship as far as a groove. Uh, so that was pretty cool. And it was like a very inspiring thing, way, inspiring way of kind of moving fast and slow at the same time. Hmm. So like hmm. you hear like kind of these low sound, high sound, but spread five or six beats apart uh, at, at 180, uh, which kind of created the framework for these kind of features to, to kind of live between. Uh, yeah. Rather than having kind of this driving tempo, so it yeah, was, yeah. it was a cool way of, I guess, approaching or at least an entry point into creating a percussion feature for the show. I it think works. I backed up far enough. We'll take that whole thing in again. Yep. So just listen for like, I guess, the the big beats. I guess low, high, and how that keep, kind of keeps going through the the entirety of this kind of minute long mm -hmm. percussion. Synthesizer too, man, making that. Yeah. I just think create a, a cool context for being able to play kind of fast, but also make it feel kind of relaxed. People are like, yeah. oh, this feels so chill. It was yeah, like, it really great. does. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but also, like, if you dig into it from a micro perspective, there's yeah. a ton of, like, notes happening, obviously, yep. too. And that's hard to do, to give off that laid-back vibe, but you're ramming notes the whole time. It's really yeah, it's creative to make that work. Proud of that. And, proud of how they performed it. Mm -hmm. In the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> 